What is up friends and welcome back to the channel. Got a nice, quick, fun little video for you guys today. We're gonna talk about a brand new floor stand for our friends, the Astera AX1 Pixel Tubes. We are opening a package, as you can see, have not broken the seal yet, from our friends over at Sherman Specialty that does our novelty supplies for when we go out and do photo booths or when we need that extra little LED glow stick for a party or whatever. As always, I like to open it in front of you guys and uh, <laughs> test out the products live here on camera. So that's what we're gonna do today. Stick around and let's get into it. Okay guys, so before we even get into the video, make sure you do this for me. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Please, please, please hit that sub button and also throw the video a big old thumbs up at the end. And of course, leave a comment because yours truly goes in and responds to all of those personally. All right, so let's get into this box and see what my friend Hector at Sherman Specialty has sent us today. Okay, they packed this little catalog. Again, Sherman Specialty. Hector Duran is my guy over there. That's who you're going to see. We'll put his email down below, all right? Business card. Oh boy, we got some treats today. All right, let's get things started. What do we got here? Jeb, are you excited? We always, let, we always have a good time making these videos. I got some futuristic 80s shades. Shit, I, these are Kanye West specials, bro. I guess he's not cool anymore. What do you think? Those are fresh, aren't they? Got the wraparound shades. These go crazy, man. We might use these in an ad, right? Yeah. All right, got the wraparound shades. I'll just put them over here so I don't mess them up. Okay, got, oh, shoot. Let me step back, get out from behind the table. Hold up. Got the, the blinged out chain, money sign. You always gotta pull these little clear tabs out. Uh, on a lot of this stuff uh, when it comes from China or whatever. Oh, hell yeah. Is that hard? It's tough. <laughs> this is tough. This is too tough. Okay. Hector's, he's batting a thousand so far. Oh, you can change the mode. So you got boom, 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 and then off. Okay. So far, Hector's killing it. We got another chain. They're big on the chains this month, it's Sherman. Woo! We used to call these dookie ropes back in the day. This is what Run DMC used to wear. The dookie rope, hard, too tough. Okay, what else, more shades? Oh, these are actually kind of fire too. Just kind of like a flat, modern, feeling it? I'm feeling these, okay. What else? Whoa, dude, my son actually might rock these. Just a straight, bro, these are 80s, like, these go crazy, right? I can see out of them, too. Do you like these? So, you like see, the tell me you wouldn't see Colin wearing these. Yeah, Colin he would actually rock these, yeah. like, to school. Okay. You like these a bit? You like these better, though, right? These are very RoboCop, like, you're too young to know that. All right. It says, also available in blue and green. Another uh, necklace here. It's got to do something. I'll pull the tab out. Let's see. Woo! Yes, sir. Another ne another necklace. Available in blue and green. LED mode. Multiple LED modes. Quick blink. Slow blink. All on. Gone. Dude, he loaded me up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this a Michael Jackson glove, bro? Hold up. Hold up. Oh, what? Come on. Come on, bro. <laughs> Talk to me. This goes crazy. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling it. It literally is just a single glove. Love that. Neon black light reactive, also fedora and beanie. Okay. 
Is this a bucket, bro? Come on, dog. At a black light party? I wish we had some black lights in here. This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. Come on. This thing, seriously, at a black light party would be like the hit. I love this. Okay. This looks good, right? Keep it. Keep it. Hell yeah. We're going to use all this stuff in a video. All right. One more item in the box today. Might. It says three ply. I don't know what that means. Also available in black. So. Oh, it's like a bow. One of those boas, but it's like a tool or whatever you call it. Very like Steven Tyler. I think I covered up the mic. <laughs> okay, a boa, but not the feather kind, which are a mess. Only black and white. This might be another one here. Yeah, another boa. It's like a multicolor. This goes crazy too, right? Okay, so once again, Sherman Specialty has hooked it up. As you can see, we got all kinds of stuff from boas to light up gloves, to chains, to shades, to the bucket hat for the uh, black light party. They did it again. Hector's email address is right down here below. Reach out to him, tell him Joe Bun sent you. Get some of this stuff for your next party, for your next photo booth gig, for your next set it off moment, whatever. We have another nice little short quick video about a brand new floor stand for our friends the astera ax1 pixel tubes you know i'm always trying to bring you the new and improved ways to uh, improve your setup make things look better make things set up faster more efficiently and that's what we're going to talk about today these brand new little stands here it's from my friend Dimitri, who's also a DJ, just like me and you, who also loves the Astera AX1s, just like me and you. But Dimitri uh, did not like the stand options on the market, so he started making his own. We'll put a link down below to where we showed his other big stands that we also are using. But these are going to replace the ones that actually come in the travel pack with the Astera. So I do like the design of these. You know, these are the Astera ones. They just kind of open up. They've got a, a, a threaded nut here, and then they have this kind of disc, which doesn't loosen or tighten, but it allows you to put it on the bottom of the tube very simply without having to sit here and crank the whole thing. I just kind of go up here and put it up there, and then you can just turn that little disc, right, to get it going and thread it on there. So there are some advantages, again, instead of sitting there having to do this, you can just turn that little wheel. So these are nice, right? But the main problem with these Astera ones is that if you look at a lot of my pictures, especially when I have some of these right in front of the DJ booth or right in front of my table, you'll notice that they're unlevel. So, you know, if you're very anal or OCD like me and you kind of look at it, especially if you're playing in like an old venue or something industrial and the floor is not completely flat, I'm sure it's not even completely flat in the studio, you've got this little tilt to the left or tilt to the right and it's super annoying and that's, the negative about the ones that come with the Astera tube. So my man Dimitri was like, I'm sick of that. And he is very particular about his setup. So he made these. And again, they come uh, two to a set if you want. And I think they're 150 or four for 300. So they're not cheap. I guess that's $75 a piece. My math is great today. So 75 bucks a piece but the quality is steel. They're definitely powder coated. And also this, this screw will not come out. It kind of partially threads through these. And then it'll just kind of dangles here. When it comes in the box, these are all packed flat and these are separate, but just know that once you put it in there, it does stay in there. And then again, you know, you just kind of go to the bottom where the, the thread is. You line it up with the hole there in the center. Turn it a few times to get it going. Tighten it up. Now, here's the difference between the Astera version and my guy Dimitri's version is that you've got these little leveling feet on the bottom, right? So just say it was kind of tilted that way a little bit. All I gotta do is turn the opposite foot from the way it's going clockwise, and it basically makes it do like that. 
you can see if I drop it down, you can see it moving here. I don't know how well you can see it on that camera. Boom. Or say I wanted to come up higher on this side. Again, crank it up here. Maybe they're leaning too far forward or too far back. All I got to do is take the back one. So that is the main difference between the Astera version and Dimitri's version is these leveling feet and just the quality in general. You know, it looks like pattern wise, I'm just trying to see the, the footprint that they cover. I mean, the Astera, Dimitri's, very similar. You know, it's just still kind of a tripod. These legs are a little bit longer, it looks like. But again, these leveling feet are an absolute game changer. And with the threaded screw being here on the bottom and not being loose, it makes these really easy to put them on as well. So I love the little disc feature here, you know, super easy, but these went on super easy. That was the first time I've even put these on. I got them just the other day. And again, we'll put the link down below to reach out to Dimitri directly to order you a set, about $75 a piece. And uh, he shipped some quickly from Boston MA. And we appreciate uh, him doing this because quite frankly, you know, some of the stuff that's on the market today for these or people that are jerry-rigging these, you know, tripods that we use here for our, our lighting stands and stuff, they're not very good. You need something for an, a light as expensive as this. You need something heavy duty, industrial, and that it keeps it straight up and down. Looks great in all your pictures, all your videos. Thanks as always for watching the videos, guys. We appreciate you and um, keep on watching. New videos every single week. Leave a comment down below, hit this video with a like, subscribe to the channel, all the things, and we will see y'all back next week. Peace, thank you.